Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. A candidate for the United States Senate has been arrested. It's time for an episode of Greedy Oppressive Predators. They're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. So Dr. John McGreevy is a Republican, and he's a United States senatorial candidate for the state of Maryland. In fact, his primary election is this week. It's tomorrow. But John McGreevy isn't his real name, and he was just arrested for making a false police report about a very heinous crime. So here's the deal. John McGreevy, Dr. John McGreevy, is actually a 54-year-old man named Ryan White who works at an adult bookstore in Maryland. On April 13th of this year, the Harford County Sheriff's Office was contacted and they were told that there was an adult male in this bookstore with a girl who was approximately 10 to 12 years old, so very young. The caller alleged that the man was forcing this child to perform sex acts on male customers. So the police respond to the call. They determine that White was the person who called in the complaint. He's an employee at this bookstore, Dr. John McGreevy, who's not Dr. John McGreevy. They launch an investigation. They said they, they conducted interviews, they gathered digital evidence, and they also identified the male and the young girl who were mentioned in the complaint. They also said that they spoke with others who purportedly witnessed these acts although none of them reported that anything was wrong. In the end, they determined that this never happened. The detectives then said that they interviewed White on July 7th, and they came to the conclusion that, quote, at no time were any sex acts performed or offered by any of the individuals in the establishment as reported by White. So White was arrested last Friday for filing false reports, and the Harford County Sheriff said, quote, it is shameful that a candidate for public office would make up such a story and use it to further his own political agenda. And then in a dig against a Baltimore County Sheriff candidate, a man named Andy Cull, the sheriff said, it is even more appalling that another individual who is running for a law enforcement position would embrace such an obviously false narrative in an effort to gain political traction nothing more. So evidently, Cull, who's also a Republican, inserted himself into this situation. He set up a meeting between the Harford sheriff and White and then other people, although Cull still refers to White as John McGreevy for some reason. Now, what's interesting to me is that I looked at White's candidate website. There's not even an about me page, which you'll find on pretty much every candidate's page. They'll have an about me page. It gives a bio. It tells about their background, what they're all about, why they're running, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't have that on his site. There's no mention of the name Ryan White. But if you scroll about halfway down on the page, there's this video with the title, quote, child trafficking rings exposed. And then the description for the video reads, quote, Dr. John McGreevy and Andy Cull, the Troy Smith show number 47. So he's clearly one of these Q loon conspiracy theorists and people are just having him on shows. They're letting him run for political office. So, I mean, the obvious questions are, why is this guy using a false name? Why was he allowed to register as a candidate 
for the United States Senate under a false name. And is he even a doctor? If so, why is he working at an adult bookstore? Seems like an odd career move, right? <laughs> for a doctor. Does anyone vet these candidates? I mean, could anyone just sign up to run under any name and they don't have to provide any proof of identity? Like, could I just sign up to run as Mrs. Higgins Bottoms or something? <laughs> I mean, and it's pretty ironic that the Republicans who are clutching their pearls and they're demanding that, oh, everyone has to have voter ID. Everyone has to show a valid ID to vote. That same party has a candidate running to become a U.S. senator using a false identity. But they're the ones that are going to ensure election integrity, you guys. <laughs> if your guy has to use a fake name, by the way, to run for office, there's a good chance he has some skeletons in his closet. Unreal. So unreal. This was almost a, a get the fuck out episode. That's how unreal it is. <laughs> Anyway, when and if I hear more about this McGreevy slash white guy, I will let you know. But he's as bad, apparently, as hot mess Herschel down in, in Georgia. All right. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care. I'll talk with you soon. 